Dear Diary, we have just played one game before the FA Cup 4th round replay against Nottingham Forest, and that was in the Premier League where we got a big chance to get back into a European spot. It looked like it would happen too, being 2-0 up at home against West Ham at the 90 minute mark, until a Calvin Phillips free kick changed everything, and they burgled a goal late to steal a draw. Not happy. Hey Bartley. So, we are still in 8th with a big game coming up off the back of the FA Cup against 9th place Man United. Tactically, we have gone back to the future, putting both DMs on a defend duty to try and be a bit less leaky at the back. Early signs that it is working, maybe we need to put our cam on attack to counter that though. Until next time. Welcome to episode 63 of FMOE here on Sean Does FM with Cardiff City. I hope you are doing well and coming up today. We take part in a fourth round replay in the FA Cup against Nottingham Forest off the back of drawing against those guys in yesterday's episode. And then off the back of that, it could either be the fifth round of that competition, which if we do get through to, we will take on Manchester City. Otherwise, a big game in the Premier League, eight versus night for two teams just outside of those European spots at the moment, as we would take on Manchester United. So if you are looking forward to today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video. And if you haven't done so already and have been enjoying this series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on as well. It is greatly appreciated. But as you would have seen through the intro off the back of that episode yesterday, if you missed that one, it did include Deadline Day. I'll leave a link to it over in the top right corner. We played a game in the Premier League. We were 2-0 up at the 90-minute mark. Then a storming free kick from Calvin Phillips. And then somehow one of the West Ham players teleported through Stovall. And they got a goal just past the amount of injury time that should have been played. So we did drop points very frustrating against the team who were down in 17th. Hopefully... That does not cost us too much. Come the end of this season, if we are still in the hunt for some European footballs, are still in 8th place on that Premier League table, just one point behind Stoke City. But Man United coming up, that will be a big game whenever we do take those guys on. But the first focus of today's episode is the FA Cup, the fourth round we take on Nottingham Forest again off the back of a nil all draw at home. In yesterday's episode, they are still fourth in the championship, still all the same players as you would expect, albeit we have just changed our tactic a little bit going into this one. Both of our defensive midfielders now are on defend. That is how we started things off here at Cardiff City. So we're going back to that so that we're hopefully a little bit more solid at the back. And to counter that, we might actually put our attacking midfielder on attack just to make up for the fact that our ball winning midfielder no longer on support alongside him. So hopefully it does mean we still create the same attacking output with those changes to our midfield. But as you can see, we're going to this one with our first choice 11 is at the moment, not a lot of football being played in the month of February. So we should get a decent gap before we do play our next game so that these players can recover. And hopefully we can make our way through to that fifth round of the FA Cup, and seeing as you've already got a good look at our team from this tactics screen, we'll come back shortly with the action as we hopefully get through this replay from the city ground in the fourth round of the FA Cup. And just show the 10 minute mark and off the back of a yellow card to Ben Hay. We get our first highlight in this one. It's a header there from Nottingham Forest from a free kick, but thankfully Maxedo makes the save and does take his time here. One other thing that we have changed he is now taking short kicks. Had a quick look in the data hub. His passing is very, very inaccurate. So we have just changed our distribution to hopefully keep the ball a little bit more as we do try and play out from defense. We'll see how that goes, albeit we try and get on the front foot there and Forrest do end up with the ball back and they try and get something going here and they now make their way up towards the halfway line. Play a ball over the top there for Bowler, who does get in behind our defense. Thankfully that one does come off the post, so at the 10 minute mark, still nil all. 
And shortly off the back of that opening highlight, next up we do have a goal kick here to Nottingham Forest, and they also are playing it short from their goalkeeper and trying to play out from the back. We put some good pressure on them here, though. Hopefully we might find a way to turn this ball over. As you can see, they are really struggling to get out of inside their own third, the back third. They eventually do, and Danilo finds himself in space here down this right-hand side. We put a bit of pressure on him there through Goodmanson. Can't quite get it. Eventually does, though. And now it's our chance to try and play out from the back. Quisada, nice ball out there to Carlos Dominguez. Back in there for the Mexican wonder kid. And now Dominguez plays that one back for Mark McGuinness. Quisada over to our Bloshi Sully. We might find someone who can hopefully pick out Goodmanson, who was down that left side in a bit of space. Marco Bruno kind of takes that around the goalkeeper. I suppose you'd call that a shot or a very loose touch but puts it in the bottom right corner, and Marco Blun is on the score sheet. Yet again before the game, we just told him to relax. And it does seem like that does help him find his goal-scoring touch. Looks more like a pass, if anything. It's a really weird shot, that one, but finds the back of the net. And we go 1-0 up here, just shy of the 15-minute mark. And in fact, immediately off the back of that goal, we do get shown the restart here as Nottingham Forest will look for an instant reply. And Jensen here plays that one back for Nestor. And yet again, Danilo and lots of space down the right-hand side. So maybe that's something else we need to tidy up with this tactic. And somehow Isaacson gets that one through Mexedo. That is such a frustrating goal to concede. It's on the wrong side where Ben Hardy is easing off tackles. I can't even blame that. But for some reason, we are very narrow there from that restart. And then this attempted save from Mexedo. Again, the ball. Kind of looks like it teleported for him, but nonetheless, Nottingham Forest grab a swift equaliser. And just short of the half hour mark, we are on the attack here through Marco Brun. We have just made one change defensively, trying to get our defenders now to trap people outside. So hopefully they do cover those wider areas a little bit more, because that's been a concerning sign early in this one. But now Sully has the ball in there for Dominguez. That is a lovely volley from right around the penalty spot into that bottom left corner. And we do get our lead back in this one, 2-1 at the city ground. Thankfully makes up that frustrating goal that we did concede off the back of that opener to Marco Brunselli. Picks out Dominguez, given a lot of space. Lovely hit that from the penalty spot pretty much and gives us a lead back, two goals to one. And only a few seconds left in this first half before injury time is over. And we do have a throw in here in a dangerous area. Marco Brun does well there to get us inside the final third. Dominguez picks out Sully. But his header goes just over the bar. And that will do it for the first half. Playing decently in this one. Just that yellow card to Ben Hardy. Which we might deal with at half time. But slightly had the better of things in this one. And are up by a scoreline of two goals to one. A one goal lead. Probably deserved based on those stats that we can see. We'll make one change period. And we'll come on for Ben Hardy with that yellow card. And hopefully we can hold on here. And make our way through to the fifth round against Nottingham Forest. And five minutes into the second half, we have a throw in here right on the halfway line and try and get something going down this left-hand side. Our Bloshi plays that one back to Goodmanson, but unfortunately the goal scorer Isaacson does get that back for Forest. And they get a chance here to try and launch an attack to start off the second half. And yet again, they find space down one of their sides here this time through Murphy. Leaves that behind him a little bit, but Nia Kate will get them back on the front foot here. And Bowler is just making his way infield. Does well. Plays the ball over there for Isaacson. Goodmanson gets caught out a bit. And Carlos Fernandez will head that one home after Mexedo, for some reason, goes to ground when the ball gets chipped over him. And that makes it too all early in the second half. And those are two very, very soft goals now that we have conceded in this one. Mexedo expecting a shot. Goes to ground. It gets looped over him. Simple finish there for Fernandez and Nottingham Forest. Get this back to all square. And only a few minutes off the back of that equaliser to Forest. We are now down the other end for a throw in. We try and put a ball there into the mix, but nowhere near any of our players. And Forest here might get a chance on the counter attack. Danilo starts to make his way down the right hand side, albeit good tackle that time from Inna Sally to win the ball back. Our Bloshi plays that one back to Urhog Hyde and hopefully Goodmanson can get us back on the front foot, albeit it takes his time. Erhog Hyde finds McGuinness in a little bit of space. Quisada back to McGuinness. We take our time here. Hopefully that means 
something good will come of this highlight. Perry Ng now starts to make some headway down this right-hand side. Plays that four for Dominguez. Falius now inside the box. He tries to put that in the mixer. Jose Sar with a save. And Marco Brun will sweep that one home. And yet again, thankfully, we are not behind for too long. 3-2 Cardiff with just over a half hour left in this one. An entertaining two and fro game. This time, good work from Falius. Jose Sar has the parry that shot slash cross away. And Brun with a simple tap in. And we do go back in front by a scoreline of three goals to two. While we are here, though, we are going to make a change. Your hog hide only on a 6.3. So they can come on for him. One of our signings on deadline day with 35 minutes left. And actually, while we're here as well, we do have Fulius only going okay on a 6.6. He is still coming back from a bit of an injury. So we'll also bring on Colwell for the last stages of this FA Cup fourth round replay. And we go up to the 69 minute mark. Ina Sully now has picked up an orange injury down to quite a low red heart as well. So we better take him off to play things safe. Marine Jacklis to come on for him. Still with that 3-2 lead. And we're just entering the last five minutes of this game. Lots of players now down to red hearts. Thankfully still with that 3-2 lead. No highlights since then. But we are going to make our last substitution. I think the safe option here might be Rinomota for Quisada. Only going okay. Hopefully. That will work out, not too convinced by Stubble. Off the back of what happened in that last game against West Ham, which did kind of lead to that equaliser late on. So instead, we will bring on Rinomota, even though you might expect us to bring on the left back instead. Of the defensive midfielder, will also just slow things down a little bit. In the last few minutes of this one, go to a mid block, and hopefully that does mean that we can hold on to our lead here. In these last five minutes. And we eventually inch our way into injury time in this one. It does look like, thankfully, we are going to pick up a win here away at Nottingham Forest. They made it tough over both leagues. Did the championship side, but thankfully Marco Brun with a goal in each half. And also Dominguez off that nice ball from Sally. And we pick up a 3-2 win. Both goals we conceded. Quite frustrating, but thankfully we still go through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Albeit how much longer we can go on in this competition remains to be seen as we do take on Manchester City right up at the top end of the Premier League table. And it would appear that that injury to Ina Sully is actually a bit more serious than first four. It's now popping up as a red injury. So we'll just get through this post-match here and see how bad that is. Because that could be interesting going in to our next game or next couple depending on what that is. If it is Man City in the FA Cup or United in the league. As you can see up there, it does look like our next game now is against Man City. So it is going to be an FA Cup themed episode today. And it's a damaged shoulder. He is going to be out for three to five weeks, which definitely means he is going to miss that next game. So we will send him to the physio to get that sorted out. But it does mean he is unlikely to feature in this next game of today's episode. And as you can see, that Man United game has actually been pushed back a little while. So that now falls in a very difficult period for us on the Premier League schedule. If we go and have a look at that, you will see now that late March, early April looks quite brutal. We take on Liverpool, Man United, Man City and Chelsea all in a row. Hopefully over that period, we don't drop too far down the table, especially with three of those games being away from home. That does mean second up today. We take on Man City in the fifth round of the FA Cup, albeit that one is at home. Unfortunately, also Ben Hardy will be suspended for that one, but Man City currently find themselves on top of the Premier League with Carlo Ancelotti in charge. Erling Haaland, that is going to be very tough. We'll come back shortly with the team sheets and see if we can pull off an upset in the fifth round. And here are the team sheets for this fifth round FA Cup clash. Hein comes into goal because I actually forgot all about that. In the first game of today's episode, also, we have Ingat right back due to suspension. And we have Hayati for McGuinness. And of course, Jacqueline comes in for Sally due to injuries. That does mean Sterling and Gordon make their way onto the bench against a strong Man City lineup. Hopefully, we can pull off an upset here at home. And we've actually done quite well in the first half of this game. It's taken until around about the 40 minute mark for us to get the first highlight. But Man City now are on the attack today in the black and red. Some good work there from Shan to get them on the front foot. Albeit his shot is absolutely woeful, well off target. There you can see the stats. We have actually got some shots on target, which so far City have not done. But now they have a corner in Hine. 
does come out and claim that safely. And hopefully we can get on the front foot, albeit for some reason he pumps that deep, which we've just told our goalkeepers not to do before today's episode. So that is a bit frustrating as most of our centre backs were hanging back a bit for that ball. So it does give Man City the ball back pretty easily. And Nathan RK plays that one back in for Laporte. So thankfully, we've just been able to consolidate things a little bit off the back of giving that ball away, albeit Phil Foden skins a man there down that right-hand side. It's a absolute mess in the box. But eventually, on the third time of asking, they put the ball in the back of the net. Erling Haaland, Foden with a shot saved, then Haaland with a shot blocked. And the third time, he puts it away. Third time, lucky it was good work there from Foden to skin in. Good save there from Hein. Then I think that was Hayati with the block. And Haaland tucks that one away eventually. And it looks like we are going to be 1-0 down going into halftime. Indeed, that is the case. A little bit frustrating to be for a very good chance that for City. But up until then, we did look on the front foot in that game. Those couple of chances in a row, though, does mean that Man City stats-wise as well do look like they have been on the front foot in this one. Yet again, Hayati on average rating. So we're going to bring Bayum on for him at halftime. Also, Colwa will come on for Falius and Tomic. For Brun up front, just not going so well today. Those will be our free subs used at halftime. Off the back of going, 1-0 down. And it's only taken a few minutes in the second half to get the first highlights of throw to Man City just inside of our half. And Chan yet again here. Looks quite dangerous down that right-hand side. Now Bernardo inside the box. Somehow falls for Erling Haaland. Carl Jakob Hein. That is woeful in goal. Comes off his wrist or something. Somehow finds the bottom right corner. And we go 2-0 down early. Thanks to Erling Haaland. He is now on a hat trick. This is a very unfortunate goal. No idea how the ball deflects on an angle like that into the net. But Man City go 2-0 up early in the second half. Albeit down the other end now, we have a corner. But unfortunately, can't get it on target. And Tomic there in the end with a good shot with his foot. Just goes over the bar though. Good chance. But we are still 2-0 down. And while we are here, might make a few more substitutions. Perry Ng going poorly. Dujon Sterling can come on for him. And also, we might do a little bit of a shuffle up at the back as well, because Erhog Hyde also not going too well. So Stovall can come on for him. And Goodmanson can also go into centre back. And we'll see if those changes can help us at all in these last 40 minutes. Still 2-0 down. When we go up to the 69-minute mark for our next highlight on this one. It's a corner here for Man City. We do head that one away through Quisada, but Foden will rocket that one top left corner. Hein gets beaten at his near post. Maybe he should have kept Mixado in goal because Carl Jacob Hein not having a good day in goal here. The first goal in the first half, can't blame him. But these two in the second, especially that first one, could have done better. This will be a good camera angle for it. A little bit of curve on that, but still should be keeping that out, I feel. Phil Foden gets on the score sheet. 3-0 City with 20 minutes left. And we are entering injury time in this one. Just 3 minutes and 3-0 down. We are not going to be going any further in the FA Cup this season. As you can see, we have gone a bit more positive in the latter stages of this one. As Stovall starts to make his way in field. Plays a good ball out there to Jacqueline, albeit slide tackle does mean that Man City will get that ball back. But it does mean now that we can focus just a little bit more, I suppose, on the Premier League for the rest of the season, which might not be a bad thing considering we are currently in a bit of a fight for European football next season. So it could actually help us out a little bit. Cole there does win the ball back for us. Starts to get on the front foot, loses the possession there, albeit Dominguez will tidy things up. Good ball over there for Renato Tomic. Finds the top left corner, albeit might have just been a stride off side. We'll wait here for a VAR check, albeit the goal. Has been awarded. A little bit surprising. He did run back to halfway, albeit not too sure how much more we can do in the remaining seconds. Good finish there after chesting that one forward. So he could put that one away on the volley. Good finish there from our young Croatian striker. Just in line with that defender. It's a very close call, but apparently that goal is going to stand. But that will probably do it for this one. First half. Felt like we had the better of it for the most part up until that late goal. To Erling Haaland, he then stung us early in the second half, not helped by Carl Jakob Hein and that rather weird deflection. Phil Foden put it to bed with 20 minutes to go. We got a consolation goal late through Renato Tomic, but in the end, we just can't match it 
with Man City this season, it would appear, and we bow out of the FA Cup in the fifth round off the back of a 3-1 loss. And back in the inbox off the back of those two games in today's episode, we just did enough to get past Nottingham Forest, but then Man City were too good for us at Cardiff City Stadium, but as I said, it does mean now we can focus for the rest of the season on the Premier League, still in with a decent chance of making European football, hopefully, especially if some other English teams can pick up wins in the European competitions, that might give us a bigger chance maybe if we do slip up. I'd imagine Man United should probably be the team that does finish in that seventh spot, considering the other two teams in there are newly promoted from the championship in us and Stokes. A little bit surprised to see those guys up there, even off the back of their previous manager, having left them, but we'll see how things go over the course of the rest of this season, and if we can secure some European football for our second season in the Premier League here at Cardiff City. But that will do it for today's episode. Unfortunately, no more FA Cup off the back of that loss to Man City. If you enjoyed today's episode, then do remember to go down below, leave a thumbs up on the video, and if you haven't done so already and have been enjoying the series here on the channel, also consider hitting that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on as well. We'll come back tomorrow, and we do have that quite tough block coming up off the back of our next game where we do take on Fulham. So we will start that one with two trips away to two of the bigger grounds in England. First off, we take on Liverpool at Anfield. They are currently third. And then that big game, which we thought might happen in today's episode, it will be tomorrow. We take on Manchester United from Old Trafford. That game in particular could be quite big for our European ambitions for next season. So that's what's coming up in tomorrow's episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep on keeping on, and I'll see you then. Cheers.